In today's podcast, we will be decoding towing terms. Uh, so my name is Nadia, and I will be presenting with Brody. Hopefully, we can help demystify some of these important terms in describing the load capacity of your vehicle. GVWR, GTW, GAWR, GCWR, what are all of these terms and letters? Just a bunch of mumbo jumbo jargon. So here we're here today to try and break it down, try to tell you what actually is important and what matters when you are towing a truck and trailer. So let's start with one of the biggest ones, GVWR, Gross Vehicle Weight Rating. Can you tell me what that is? Gross Vehicle Weight Rating is basically the weight of the vehicle, the cab, uh, as well as any additional load uh, or cargo that it would carry. Um, so that would be the maximum amount of load that your vehicle would be able to carry, including the weight of the vehicle itself. That's almost gross vehicle weight that you described. So gross vehicle weight rating is the maximum allowable rate weight of the vehicle, its passengers, cargo, fuel, fluids that the oh. vehicle can handle overall. It is yeah, the yeah, maximum yeah. allowable yeah, yeah, yeah. versus gross vehicle weight is the actual weight of the vehicle, the true sum of what oh, your specific vehicle weighs. I thought I had said maximum. <laughs> My bad. Okay. <laughs> okay, so basically, thanks, Freddie. So gross vehicle weight rating is essentially the maximum allowable load that your vehicle can carry. That includes the weight of the vehicle itself, the fuel tanks, uh, passengers, and cargo. So this weight rating, it is normally specific to a given model of trucks and will apply to all the full series of that model usually. So usually a full F series lineup or a full GM 1500 lineup. So let's jump into why is this number important? When are we going to use, what do we need to know about it and when are we going to use it? So the gross uh, vehicle weight rating is important when you're loading up the truck itself. The capacity of all your passengers and cargos cannot exceed this. So how do you know where your limit is? Well, that's based on the starting value, which is your gross vehicle weight. That number is very VIN specific. You have to go to the manufacturer with your VIN and you will have a specific weight assigned to your vehicle based on what option packages and trim level it is equipped with. And then your payload capacity is the difference between the weight rating and your vehicle weight. Whatever that number is, that is the maximum allowable payload that you can put in that truck. So essentially, if you have a heavier vehicle, so a greater gross vehicle weight, uh, that leads to a lower payload capacity for that group of vehicle models. So generally, four-door crew cab models tend to have a lower payload capacity than single cab models so because they have the added weight of the excess trim seats, things like that. Mm -hmm. So these are all important things to consider when selecting a vehicle, um, as well as uh, determining what is the cargo requirement for the vehicle that you do have. So next up is GCWR, Gross Combination Weight Rating or Gross Combined Weight Rating. Now you think you can tell us what that is? Uh, yeah, so your Gross Combined Vehicle ra Weight Rating is exactly what it sounds like, bit of a tongue twister. Um, so basically, the keyword is combination, so it's very similar to your gross vehicle weight rating in that it's the upper limit of the amount of load that your vehicle can handle. That includes the vehicle cab, um, fuel tanks, passengers. Uh, the difference is that the gross combined vehicle weight rating accounts for any trailers um, that the vehicle would be hauling as well. Yeah, and so your gross combined weighting, weight rating is essentially what makes up your vehicle's towing capacity. So how do you determine your towing capacity? Well, I gotta do a little bit of math there. Their vehicle's towing capacity comes from it, the gross combined weight rating minus your gross vehicle weight. Whatever is left over, that is your vehicle's towing capability. And that is how much the combined load of your trailer and its cargo can weigh. So I'm going to talk a little bit about gross vehicle weight. So your gross vehicle weight is the weight at any time of your vehicle's cab, fuel tank, passengers, and any cargo that might be in the vehicle. So while the gross vehicle weight rating is a specification of the maximum, uh, gross vehicle weight is just the weight at any point in time on the vehicle. The gross vehicle weight rating 
gross combined vehicle weight rating and the vehicle weight, uh, which is individual to and very specific to the vehicle um, within the model range. So using these values, you can derive values such as payload capacity, towing capacity. So when you have your towing capacity and you want to make sure you're staying within that, a good thing to look for on your trailer is the GTWR, the gross trailer weight rating. This tells you how much your trailer is capable of hauling. So if you make sure this upper limit stays with underneath your uh, towing capacity, you will for sure not exceed that and overload your vehicle. Uh, yeah, so essentially when you know your limits, then you can essentially effectively make decisions about uh, how you're loading your vehicle. Um, so we will jump into where to find these values. Uh, so Brady, do you wanna start us off on that? So how to determine all of these values for your vehicle. So typically inside the driver's door in the door jam is generally a sticker that will indicate the gross, the GVWR, the gross vehicle weight rating, as well as the gross axle weight ratings. So what you're really concerned about is the gross vehicle weight rating, the GVWR. So you have that value there. To find your gross vehicle weight, you need to take your VIN to the manufacturer, and that is, that is very specific to your model of truck, and they will give you that value. So using those two values, you can determine what term your maximum payload is for your truck. Same thing on, usually in the door jam is another sticker indicating the gross combined weight rating, and you can use that value again with the gross vehicle weight to determine what your max towing capacity is. Those are two numbers, payload and towing capacity that you generally want to jot down, keep a note of, maybe throw them in the glove box so that way you always have them on hand to know what your truck's limits are. All right, so thank you for watching. Um, hope this was informative. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave a comment below and uh, let us know what you think.